Welcome. So far, we discussed the main features of a life cycle assessment. But did you know that there are actually multiple approaches? Time to have a more detailed look. If you look through the literature, you will find two types of LCA. Attributional LCA and consequential LCA. Which type to use depends on the goal of your study. While attributional LCA describes the environmentally relevant flows throughout a product system, consequential LCA describes how those flows change in response to a change in the system. So far, this might sound a bit fake, but let's picture the following situation. You are a dairy farmer and you are asked to lower the emission of greenhouse gases for the milk that you produce. As a first step, you want to gain insight into the current situation. In other words, you want to monitor and report the emissions of your system in its current state, and you want to identify the hotspots of your system. In this case, attributional LCA can help you. So attributional LCA describes the environmental impact of a system in a status quo situation. It can be seen as an accounting model to monitor and report the environmental impact of a system at all levels at a static point in time. Once you know the current situation, you might think about an improvement option. For example, you notice that feed production is an important hotspot. Replacing a main product, like cereals in a cow's diet, with appropriate co-products, such as wheat middlings, is stated to be more environmental friendly. Your neighbor farmer happens to produce wheat grain, and this grain is milled in a local factory. The meal is currently used to make bread, whereas the wheat middlings are fed to pigs in a neighboring village. So if you want to feed wheat middlings to your cows, you have to realize that also the pig farmer has to change his feeding strategy. To know if feeding the wheat middlings to your cows really reduces the emission of greenhouse gases, you need to include the emissions of all the processes that change as a consequence of your decision. In this case, for example, you need to account for the fact that you feed fewer cereals to your cows, but that the pig farmer has to feed more cereals, now he can't use wheat middlings anymore. In this case, consequential LCA can help you. Consequential LCA describes the environmental consequences of a possible change in a system by evaluating all the processes that are affected by that change. So your system boundaries are defined by the processes that are affected rather than by your own product system. So remember, while attributional LCA can help you to assess the environmental impact of a product or system in its current state, Consequential LCA is needed when you want to assess the impact of a change in a system. Thanks for watching.